Hi guys, it's Sam here from Bargain Hunting Blonde and today I have for you a fun luxury fall haul. So I have picked up these pieces over the time from like moving to now. So it's been what, two months, a little over two months. So uh, it's kind of a weird variety, but it's some pieces I found on sale, some you have seen on my Instagram, some you have not seen before. So without further ado, let's dive in and let's start out with the two Celine pieces I have. So neither of them are bags, um, though I do like the Celine Ava bag. I'm just not sure if it would work in my style, but I love seeing people style it. So first is in this Celine box, which I feel like I so rarely get a Celine box. So this is very exciting. And I did order this from 24S. Uh, it was not on sale, but I was having a hard time finding my size in stock and uh, 24S has great shipping. They're owned by LVMH, which owns Celine. So you have the ability to get the Celine items you're looking for. Plus it does actually come in the Celine wrapping, which is nice. So it is in this bag, which may or may not give you a hint, is the Celine Triumph bag, not bag, belt. I do have the bag though. And it is in this beautiful tan color with a contrast white stitching and then gold hardware. This is called the Elegant Belt and it does retail for $5.90. Uh, I did get this in an 85. I probably should have got an 80, uh, but I do like to get the 85 because it allows me to wear it high-waisted and then also around my hips and I definitely have uh, bigger hips. So in order to be tight on a high-waisted pair of pants, I would need to have like one or two at least more. Uh, what other word I'm looking for? More holes punched in the belt. Sorry guys, just completely lost what I was thinking about, but I do find this to be a beautiful belt and I was very excited to pick it up from 24S. Next up, like I said, is another Celine piece. You will have seen this if you follow me on Instagram. I did get this one on sale, which getting Celine on sale now is like not really a thing, uh, but it is this fun Celine baseball cap, again with the Triumph logo right there. I did get this in a medium, but it is fully adjustable and there is gold hardware right there. Uh, they call this on their website purple. Uh, this is 100% a dark navy. I, It's not purple. So, I mean, it, it's looking black right now. It's blue. It's navy. Um, and it is a corduroy, which is fun. And I have not had a Celine hat before, but as you know, I love luxury baseball caps. So this is another one in my collection and I cannot wait to wear it. I did get this for taxes, duties, all of that because it did come from a European retailer called Nuges 1920. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but uh, for $408.60, uh, that is $213 savings from buying it here in the US, which was great. Uh, but again, they it's not 24S, not LVMH, so it did just come like in, this clear packaging, uh, but it did come with all its tags on it, which is nice. And when I did find this, uh, I bought one and then I posted it on my Instagram story. So I do try to post all the finds I find on my Instagram story. So really make sure to follow me on Instagram if you're looking for luxury for less. Uh, I do share what I'm finding. Of course, if there's only one and I bought it, then I do not share it. But in this case, there was more than one. Next up is something that is from Hermes that I had purchased right before we moved and it is in this fun box. Excuse the sad looking ribbon, that was me, that was not my essay. Uh, this is a purchase from my new essay since my other essay has moved out to San Diego. Um, yeah, and that's been going pretty well. I have not been able to go in and see her but she does send me things which I appreciate. And it is the Bride of Brack which is their makeup case in the GM size in a very neutral color. I'm not sure what color Hermes is calling this with a white and gray handle. Uh, I am not sure if I'm gonna use this for like makeup stuff or if I'm going to get the little like converter that you can get on Etsy and you can make this into a bag which makes it a very reasonable priced bag. I'm not a fan normally of using a toiletry pouch as a bag but because this already has a little handle um, and it's much different shape than like, for example, the Louis Vuitton Toiletry 26 or anything like that. I'm open to trying it. Um, 
and I'm excited because I love this colorway and I think it could be a fun little like not so worried about Hermes piece um, and you know not so stressed about it. So this again is the GM size. It does come in a PM size as well and I was very glad when I saw that she had sent it to me in this fun little hat box because I think this is going to look like so cute um, in my closet because like I don't think I'm going to be buying a hat so but I do love designer hat and baseball hats. So if they come out with one that I like, one never knows, but like I will never be buying like a true hat. I don't think that would go in that box. Next is another piece that I did find on sale and I did repost in my stories. It is Burberry, Burberry ready to wear. Um, I do not know the exact price because when I looked it up online on my email, I did have an order confirmation, a shipping confirmation, all that, but it never said how much I paid for it. If I remember correctly, it was in the $400 range um, and it did come from another European retailer called Coltori uh, and I did get it in a small. So this is a small Burberry sweater. Um, I love sweaters as you know with my Hermes uh, sweaters. This is I think all cashmere or it's like a blend. Let's look. Let's look. There should be a tag in here. Perfect. It is 100% wool. Oh, so it's wool. Merino wool, um, which is great because I love, I'm always cold. Our house stays really cold, uh, which is nice in the summer, but not good in the winter. Uh, so I really like this. This is the more like vintage looking darker colored brown that they're doing. Um, they also do occasionally do very similar sweaters and like they're lighter, more popular looking color, but this retails for a thousand dollars, maybe a little over a thousand dollars in the States. And it was on such a good sale. So I was like, I am getting you literally it was in the $400 range. And I was like, I must have you. The small is great for me. Um, it definitely is like an oversized fit. So I'm glad I didn't go any bigger. Um, cause I'm always like nervous with European brands if I should go bigger because I am 5'10". I'm very tall. And then I do definitely have shoulders. So sometimes that doesn't work out with European brands, but that fit really well. And then lastly, again, is another piece that I linked on my Instagram. So if you want luxury pieces for less, please make sure to follow me on Instagram. My stories are where I'm posting all my deals that I find. They just come in this kind of plain box here. Uh, but something I think you'll all be surprised by, but I have been eyeing this for a while. And when I saw it on the sale that I saw it on, I was like, you must come to me. It smells so good. If that tells you anything. And it is the Coach Tabby. And this is the full size Tabby, which according to this tag retails for $495. And I paid with tax and everything $207.90. It is in a red color. It is looking um, a little brighter red than it is in real life. Um, and it does have gold hardware. And so this is the pillow Tabby. So it's a little more pillow like it is. It smells so good guys, just crazy. It does have dividers on the inside. You can see coming from the Bloomingdale's, which is where I got it from, like fully, no one else has touched it all wrapped up. Um, I also do have in here the different straps, which you guys can see all wrapped up, uh, which was, I mean, this was great. It came to me really quickly. I love that the coach tag is also like a pillow. Um, and I think this has been a very trendy bag, but for $200, I'm willing to try something that's more trendy. Plus you guys know if I love something, I'm going to buy it regardless of trend, but I did link this color, I linked a blue, I linked the tie dye ones, I linked the smaller size, all of it on sale. So I really try to share with you guys when I find something on sale, I'm trying to pass it on to you guys. I'm not gonna hoard it, uh, not tell you guys where I'm finding my sales. I do link them. So if you use my link, I really appreciate it. But that is kind of what I've picked up for this fall season. I'm trying to get out videos to you guys on Mondays and Thursdays. If you have any video requests, please leave them down below. If you had a previous video request that I have forgotten about and have not yet filmed, please leave it below again. In my move, I lost the notebook. I probably tossed it because I thought it was like, oh, full. I don't need to keep this of my like to film ideas. So please let me know again or feel free to DM me on Instagram. I'll have linked below my Instagram, Facebook, my blog. Also, if you're new here, you like these sort of videos, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Plus the like button really does help since I'm getting back in the swing of things. I have a feeling these videos are not going to reach everyone. So thank you so much for tuning in today, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.